dialects to even tone you know the jamaican dialects down for them to understand what we are trying to preach about and mm -hmm. we find it difficult sometimes pushing you know the, the the vibes you know so most of the times when you check our songs we can't even go hard like the way you know you find some yard songs going hard you know on some rhythms you know you play some rhythms in ghana and no dj would play it you know wow yeah, yeah it's, it's crazy you know so i would say we, we could we could make the numbers because ghana is uh, almost like 32 million people you know and we, we can we can really make this happen but we can make it happen but it's, it's just that um um, is the understanding of the people is the understanding of the um, um, media to understand the dance or culture so we can be able to you know really push this thing you know forward so millions oh, yeah, you know, man, bless you. We, mm. we, we could have seen like millions of views on youtube and stuff like that but mm. it's mm. because of the journey that we've taken that is not making us make that impact you know because africa itself has not gotten the reggae dance or feeling to, 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 to the level that, you know, they would understand that this is dancehall clash, this is reggae culture, this is dancehall culture. So we're just trying, you know. Me and Stoneboy have been doing this for years, and we are the only, you know, authentic dancehall artists in Ghana, I'll say. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Watch, I'm ever I, thing for up on a number thing there. Go on. Have a vice, you know, I'm ever thing. I, you see the number thing that's going on, um, Shata is right in the sense that he's saying, but to say the popcorns come to Ghana or they go to Africa or the Jamaicans come to Africa and they make the numbers. And if you, you're asking us, how do we make of that? Let me tell you one thing is we keep the fire burning down here for them to get that reception. Because when you go up on the Instagram and them, they, you realize say, even when you check Shatter, you check me, you know, we are followers more than, more than some of the names them. That we will mention more than some of the big names them in the dancer. <laughs> I so, know you should don't want to call no names that are stupid. Yeah, yeah, but, but <laughs> uh, yeah, but I'm I'm just being very analytical. You mm. know what I mean, and also the fact that they get these numbers is the fact. Let me just attribute it to the fact that reggae and dancer is d is in our DNA is as black people in a father, you know, and the continent of Africa spew black people, birth black people. So the advantage that I think is that we have to give credit to Jamaicans for the naming of dancer reggae and pushing this culture to the world. So when you go online for the numbers, when you go anywhere in the world and you want to listen to reggae, you want to listen to dance out, Ghana is not going to come to mind. No way. If any one, one country come to mind is Jamaica. So this is the whole world logging on to Jamaica to hear dance and reggae. So definitely their numbers are going to fly. Well, you know what? I just appreciate the fact that you guys yeah. are flying the flag, flying yeah. the flag so for the music that comes. So what we are trying is definitely correct because we now have a mixed general one. That's why you find out that we use our local dialect to die down the, the, the things them. And so I think that we are more diversified and are at an advantage when this power propels for the next 10 years. Uh, you guess what I'm saying? I'm not trying to be bougie, but the only thing a Jamaican might have over an African is the fact that they originated the authenticity, the, the, the word or the authenticity or the genre. But the genre's roots finds itself here. And we have the numbers in, on the African continent as well. So in five years, when it sits down properly, because we just had an Afrobeat right there. And today's Afrobeat is a combination of dancer, high life Afrobeat, which we thank, do all. Thank you for saying that. I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said that. Now, Shata, you said that you you two are the only two that is like proper representing. Yeah. I forgot back Everything in the mix shows, up. Man. Well, I know. Everything clear, Rasta. Everything show, man. Well, I'm I know. Hype thing, man. The world's sure. Samini may have something to say mm. about that because as far as he's concerned, he should be involved in Wagwan. Let me just play this a second. Charlie, Stone Boy, you know how me and you date. Yeah, I didn't expect that this thing where you people plan, like you go link me and tell me, say, this is Wagwan. I don't expect Bandana to be the one that linked me to tell me about it. Yeah, so I still wait for your call. Yeah. You know, we I still they wait for your call because if you hear this from them, will you accept to do it with them? No problem, because I know you get them and I know say so you go fit deal with it. But if it be you, 
you you know go understand because the truth always has to be the truth how where how did it end up that all of a sudden it's beef and it has to be a clash and it has to be between you and Shatawale. It is a mismatch. We know that. Even the first dance hall king co uh, competition that you guys did at Labadi Beach that I apparently Bandana was part of it. I was shocked because I had a gig at the bigger beach, Labadi Beach uh, Hotel. And right after my gig, I had to come back to come and, you know, help celebrate your win. And I kept saying, Bandana comes from my days. Why is he in this competition with you guys? So I even expected, <laughs> I expected them to give it to him. But then they gave it to you because, yeah, you proved yourself. And I was happy. But that is not the kind of thing we are talking about here. The kind of thing we are talking about here. Me and you have rode. Me and you have, have lived. You have seen what I have been through based on what was happening when this guy was doing what he was doing with me and to me. So when the names come up, when the things come up, Stone Boy, when you people day and you people they talk talk your things, and I they expect say you go have my back, you go hold my back, and you go defend me like how I do. When matter they come happen, when you they link me low key, make we talk, and then we will know how to handle things. That's how I expect you to also deal with me when things are going like that. You don't let me find out online, and then. After I me mean, I vex and things, then I go ready. Charlie. <laughs> Charlie. Yo, listen. <laughs> listen, I would have never. Shut up. Well, let me talk, you know. I would have never, well, you know. I have, I have well, never, 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 never say a word about this. If I'm a Sean EV, if I'm a Sassy, well, they're Bandana. Bandana. <laughs> the fact that I want to school in a bandana. <laughs> well, I'm bandana. Just, yo. I like the class three teacher, you know. <laughs> Shut up. Shut yeah, up. Right. Yeah, Samini yeah, sounds right. like Samini sounds like he's very upset with you, man. Yo, Samini upset with me. We can't believe that, you know, because long time, way back, Shani, we did our first for Samini to come clash with me. Like, me, me I tell Wally for people, radio presenters, you know, tell them, say, yo, tell Samini, me want clash with the eye of them, because, you know, a business thing, you know, and a personal thing. Samini would just say, no, me can't clash with Shata, cause you know Shata move with the street and Shata blah blah Shata rare rare. Now that you know me dip on me level, you know the man them won't clash with. You say you're clean, you're clean, you're clean. <laughs> 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 